Good morning, good morning, good morning, um, good afternoon, good evening, depends on where you're watching from. My name is Moses and welcome to Prime Media Studios where we bring you live updates, breaking news, very, very interesting content. Today you're welcome to the newspaper review for the 21st of November 2023. My name is Moses. Once again, we'll go on a quick break and we'll come back. We'll begin the show. Don't go away. Welcome back to the Minnesota Review for the 21st of November 2023. My name is Moses and this is Prime Media Studios once again. Okay, quick one says state spent 1.7 trillion um, naira on trips, meals and others and also borrow 988 billion naira. Let me take that again. State spend 1.7 trillion naira on trips meals and others and they also borrowed 988 trillion and billion naira <sighs> i'm speechless but um let's go to the details the 36 states of the federation have spent 1.7 trillion naira on recurrent expenditures including allowances foreign trips office stationary aircraft maintenance and more in the first nine months of 2023 this is according to an analysis analysis rather of their budget performance report sourced from open nigerian states a budget it backed website that serves as a repository of government budget data 24 states analyzed by the punch had budget implementation data covering the first three quarters of the year while 12 states had data for the first two quarters of the year the states cumulatively spent 802.43 billion naira on salaries across the data period available but the punch isolated these data set focus on other recurrent spending items if salaries were added total recurrent spending would have been 2.552 rather trillion naira other recurrent spending items covered in this report include the amount spent on foreign and domestic travel, internet access fees, entertainment, fee stuff, honorarium, sitting allowance, wardrobe allowances, telephone bills, electricity charges, stationery, anniversary, special days, welfare, aircraft maintainers, and more. Of the 36 states, only 30 states have disbursed security votes. 87 Point forty five billion naira so far. Also, the total borrowings of the state grew to 988 billion naira as of the third quarter of 2023. Like I said before, I am actually I am very, very shocked of these spendings. I'm really, really shocked that um, government would spend this huge amount of money for meals travels and stationaries it is public funds therefore it needs to be handled with care transparency and accountability but as it is now i don't think that these things are put into consideration which is very very not cool so please government sit up channel the money where it's supposed to be channeled to and do not spend lavishly because this country is actually going bankrupt let us move to the next one. It says, it says, breaking news, gunmen attack Adamawa police. Gunmen attack Adamawa police headquarters. You know, I laugh at this because in a, in a, in a particular nation where the police are supposed to be policing, guiding, and making sure that we do not have um, any form of insurgency, any form of um, law breakdown it is the other way around gunmen attacks police station and then starts shoot, shooting sporadically is that supposed to be what they're supposed to be reporting it is very 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 unfortunate that this is happening in nigeria as a whole let's go into details 
He says gunmen were said to have attacked the Adamawa Police State Police Headquarters, Jimeta, Yula North, local government area in the early hours of Wednesday, sending residents of Yula into panic. According to Daily Trust, the State Police Public Relations Officer SP Suleiman Ngoroje confirmed the attack but said things were under control. Ngoroje said the attack was repelled but the identities of those behind it was unknown. The newspaper quoted the source as alleging that the attack, attacks, or attackers rather, were military personnel on a revenge mission following the alleged killing of a military officer by the police. Although the newspaper said it could not independently verify if military personnel were involved, but the police said investigations were ongoing to ascertain the cause of the attack and those behind it. We'll get more details in the next show. Don't go away. Why ins insecurity is not going away, says service chiefs. Why insecurity is not going away, says service chief. Let us take a look at that. Chief of Defense Staff General Christopher Musa yesterday revealed that Boko Haram members held in prisons across the country still carry out their criminal operations through the help of some prison warders. General Musa made the disclosure yesterday during the sectoral debate with service chiefs organized by the House of Representatives at plenary in Abuja yesterday. At the Pali, the service chiefs gave reasons the security agencies appeared to be underperforming their challenges and how to overcome and secure the country. The service chiefs present included, included Chief of Defense Staff CDS General Christopher Musa, Chief of Army Staff Coas Lieutenant, Lieutenant General Otarud Lagbaja, Chief of Air Staff CAS Air Marshal Hassan Abubakar, Chief of Naval Staff CNS Vice Admiral Emmanuel Ogala, and Inspector General of Police Kayode Egbetukun. The House had rescheduled the meeting from last week to today after the security chiefs could not appear for the debate in person. According to Musa in the Northeast, while debriefing some of the Boko Haram elements, they confessed how from the prisons they could plan operations and pass funds to the field through the help of some prison warders. He said they passed funds across and we asked how. They told us they used some of the warders. We are not saying all of them are bad but they use some of the warders' accounts to transfer money, and the deal is anybody whose account it transferred shared it 50-50. Those are the challenges. Armed forces underfunded. Speaking further on purchase of equipment, Musa lamented that the high dollar rate had hampered the purchase of relevant equipment needed to fight insecurity. According to him, all the items procured are built with hard currency, known in Naira, and that most times, when funds are converted, only very little could be bought. His words, we don't produce what we need in Nigeria. And if you do not produce what you need, what may, that means you are at the beck and call of the people that produce these items. That is that about the um, security of the nation. We plead with all the service chiefs to please do what they can to make sure that this country is safe and sound for people, citizens, indigents to live in and also other people to come in and you know, increase our economic uh, um, income by the end of the year or by the end of two years. Okay, this is the end of the newspaper review, but need I remind you that our platform is still open for others. We have um, accessories, we have bags, we have home appliances, we have phones, we have gadgets, we have all of it, name it on remy.com.ng. That is the platform. It's an online mall where you go to shop all your items, household items, kitchen utensils, clothing, accessories, and what have you. You have them on our website. See all the beautiful accessories and all of that. Um, just make sure that you log on to www.remy.com. Ng for those in Nigeria and also www.remy.com for those overseas. And also you could go on Google Play Store or Apple Store to order your items. Just place your order 
And let me remind you that in Lagos, within Lagos, it gets to you. When you order, it gets to you in three to five working days. And outside Lagos, it gets to you three to seven working days. And trust me, it is very cheap. It's a good news because we are on our Black Friday sales. So everything you get will be on 70% discount or 50% discount. Just log on to Remy dot com dot ng my name is moses and this is the most we can bring to you on prime media news um join us for suspense shows thank you and have a good day